guys, it's Danica and welcome to my channel. Today, my boyfriend and I are going on a road trip to Quebec City for the weekend and I thought I would bring you guys along and show you what I eat while traveling as a vegan. So I hope you guys enjoy and now let's get right into it. I just got back from Quebec and I had an amazing time. I ate some delicious food and that's what I'm gonna share with you today. Also make sure to watch until the end because I'm gonna talk about my tips when traveling as a vegan. While I was on the road, I ate my tofu scramble sandwich. We were on the road for seven hours from where I live, driving to Quebec City. And I do have a recipe for tofu scramble, so I'll just link that down below. It is one of my favorite recipes and I make it all the time when I need to be on the go. So I brought that with me and I ate that for my lunch that day. I also had a lot of snacks, so I snacked on a banana. I ate some grapes and I also had some granola bars. I also made sure to bring my own water bottle so I had some water while I was traveling and I also had my water bottle with me at all times during the weekend. Our first night there, we went to eat in Vieux Quebec, which is the old part of Quebec City, but a lot of restaurants were full because it was the festival in Quebec that weekend. So I pretty much had to improvise for that day. We went to an Italian restaurant and you'll find that with Italian restaurant Mexican restaurant, Asian restaurant, it's easier to get some vegan options and you can kind of play around with the menu. And at this place that I went, they had a vegetarian pizza. I just told the waitress that I didn't eat cheese. So I ate a vegetable pizza that evening with a glass of sangria, which was really delicious. The next day was a full day in Quebec. We stayed at a hotel that the breakfast was included. We ate at the buffet that morning and I had some oatmeal, a banana, a bagel, with peanut butter and jam and I also had black coffee and a glass of orange juice. I recommend that you stay at a hotel that the breakfast is included and with continental breakfast it's pretty much easy to get a vegan option everywhere. Then we went ahead and did a bit of shopping. I forgot to film my dinner that day but at the food court I went to an Asian place and I got a pad thai and it was advertised as a vegan pad thai so that was fun. So I ate that and it was really really good. Then for that evening, we went to Vieux Quebec again and we went to eat at a restaurant that had a vegan menu and also a non-vegan menu. And I found that on Google and I'll show you how I do that later. And it was really, really good. I had a vegan poutine, which was really good. And that's what I had for my supper that day. We stayed at the same hotel, so the next morning I had pretty much the same breakfast that I had the day before. And for lunch that day, we were on the road. So we stopped at Tim Hortons and I got two of their newest breakfast sandwiches with the Beyond Meat sausage. It was so good. Every time that I go, I get two. I think I go maybe a bit too much. And that's what I ate for lunch that day. But now I'm gonna jump right into talking about some tips while you're traveling as a vegan. My first tip, I talked about it a bit earlier in the video, and that's choosing Italian restaurant, Mexican restaurant, or Asian restaurant because it's much easier to get by as a vegan. Even if there's no option, it's really easy to just switch out some of the recipes and get a really good vegan option. So at Italian places, you can get either pizza, pasta, look at the menu and you just tell them to hold the cheese and hold the meats. Mexican restaurants, it's really easy also because because you can get burritos, burrito bowls, tacos. Usually they'll always have beans and they'll always have salsa, vegetables. And at Asian places, they'll always have either a stir fry, pad thai, and they always have tofu on the menu. You can just ask them, you know, I saw that you have tofu on the menu. Is that okay? If you can add it to this dish and just remove the chicken and replace it by tofu. So that's usually what I do and I never really had trouble with that. When I do my Google research, I always use either TripAdvisor or Happy Cow. I'll share my screen right here and I'll show you what I do when I use those two things. The first thing that I'll show you is a Happy Cow website. So you just Google Happy Cow. It's an app to find vegan and vegetarian options. So you just click on the search bar and I write where I want to find vegan food. So here I type Quebec and it shows you everything that has either vegan options or vegetarian options in Quebec. So that's how I found my vegan poutine. So here you can see that they have vegetarian options. Here it's a vegetarian restaurant and here it's where they have vegetarian and vegan options too. That's a vegan restaurant 
like everything there is vegan and that's how you use happy cow i love to use that website then i'll show you how to use tripadvisor you just go on the tripadvisor website in search tripadvisor restaurant with vegan options and you can enter where you want that and that's everything with a vegan option and what I usually do is I if I'm interested in one place I'll just click on it and then I'll go down in the search bar and I'll write vegan and I can see every review that ever had the word vegan in it so here it says you know delicious vegan meal vegan options so that's how I base my decisions on what restaurant that I'll go another tip that I have would be to bring food with you so that's what I did for my road trip I brought a sandwich and I brought some granola bars and some fruits so I know that for that trip I'll be fine and I'll have things to eat. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did don't forget to subscribe because I upload videos like this every single Monday and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!